Hello everyone! Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the book which I found very enjoyable. This book is uh, Strange Weather in Tokyo by Hiromi Kawakami. The original title in Japanese is actually Sensei no Kaban, the teacher's uh, bag, but you know, strange weather in Tokyo is a phrase I think that occurs in the book and plays an important role. Um, now, what do you need to know about this book? Why am I talking about this book? I'm talking about this book because uh, when I became a little bit more interested in Japan, due to my uh, long-term partner being Japanese, I started reading up on Japan. And one of the things I find about every country and culture is is that if you read the literature that um, in the classic status, you understand really well some things about the history, the history of the society, as well as what the um, political and the more educated uh, parts of society think has been important, have been important cultural achievements. So you get kind of an interesting insight into several aspects of society. If you read what's popular at the moment, both maybe at the uh, more high literature level and the more casual, popular, fun levels, uh, in different genres, you get a good um, feel both for, you know, through the books, you get to know the country and culture a bit, uh, but of course also which books are popular <laughs> tells you a lot about the country itself, right? So there's a meta level where it helps you. So this 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 was kind of like the background um, that I went into reading Strange Weather in Tokyo with because Hiromi Kawakami is someone who wrote very prestigious literary prizes in Japan, like the Akutagawa Prize. And so she is a commercially successful writer, but she's also well recognized uh, by people who care about the quality of the language used, the structuring of the story, so it's more than just a fun story. Um, you also get good literary qualities, and I have to say Alison Markin Powell, who's the translator of Kawakami, uh, did a wonderful job. The English translation reads beautifully, entertainingly, and it's sophisticated. Without uh, relinquishing some of the literary uh, qualities that make Japanese literature unique. Okay, so what is the book about? I, I talked a lot about why I read it and why, what, what is, makes it good, but what is it actually about? Well, this is a love story. It's not a long book, it's about 150 pages long, as I remember, and um, it's an interesting love story because it's about mature people, and uh, they meet in, uh, in an unusual way, they fall in love in an unusual way, and their relationship is not conventional, not by Japanese standards and not by any other society's standards, but they do call attention to something very important, namely that, um, you know, in, in life there are many kinds of love and um, whatever you might think at your current stage of life, uh, most people enjoy being loved and falling in love and being in love at any age and um, it, they can have fun and you know especially if you're a younger reader uh, this book might open your eyes to the world around you a little bit because it's easy to imagine when you're young that well older people are not interested in these things anymore so much they very much are but they just live their love life a little bit differently if you're someone who is more mature uh, advanced middle age uh, you might recognize that, wow, here's the kind of love that I had, or here's the kind of love that I haven't had, and I could have, you know, so it's, it's a very nice book, it can work your imagination. Uh, one of the things that make the book lovely is that uh, Kawakami, like many good Japanese writers, doesn't directly, magically kind of look into the heart and head of her protagonist and tell you this is what she feels, this is how her mood changed. Uh, you get very subtle, excellent descriptions of situations, activities that the characters do together, having a drink at the pub, uh, going for mushroom picking and so on and so on, um, having a fun late night outing, and it's all uh, show don't tell. So. Through these depictions of the situations, 
you can get to know the characters almost the same way as you would get to know someone you're together with in real life. You don't, they don't narrate their inner life to you all the time, right? But very often, as you under, start understanding them, you have this lovely feeling, oh, I, I get it, I know how they feel now, I know what's going through their head now. And this is a lovely thing, you know, like a good hallmark, a hallmark of good writing. Um, now one of the other things that um, made this book enjoyable is that um, I think, you know, life in Japan is very different from what you see usually portrayed in the media. Um, as with any other topic, the media is looking for content they can sell, so they exaggerate, they selectively pick certain aspects of life uh, that might be in reality just minor or irrelevant or outdated aspects, which are true at some point, but not anymore. Whereas this book is pretty close probably to capturing the lived experience of many um, Japanese people currently living in the society and being a little bit more further ahead in their career or closer to retirement. Which for any of you who wants to understand Japan a little bit better should be really fun. Even if you don't have any particular interest in Japan, but you're open to new experiences, learning new things, you're just entertained if you encounter something that you haven't encountered before, uh, this book can give you that experience. And you might be like, wow, I want to look up certain things more, I want to learn a bit more about the cuisine, I want to learn a bit more about why people have conversations the way they do. I want to understand a bit better why uh, why this uh, these two people became a couple, and that can make you ask the right questions that can help you understand Japanese society and go beyond the kind of uh, you know quite often quite misleading media generated uh, platitudes and, and stereotypes. So, all in all, a wonderful book, very entertaining. Um, Kawakami has her own humor, but she can also be lyrical. So those of you who um, uh, who don't want too much syrup and too much pinkness, that's not what you need at the moment, will enjoy it. But if you do want a little bit of you know love and romance, you can find that as well in this book. It strikes a very fine balance, and it's like many Japanese products, a very sophisticated one. With that, I'll say goodbye, enjoy reading, and have a lovely, wonderful way, everyone. Bye-bye.